Hey everybody. Every once in a while I'll have a student or an up and coming artist reach out and ask if I can give them some advice on their style or breaking into the industry or whatever. And uh, I, if I have the time, I'm happy to do it. Uh, I actually did speak to one person today who was trying to work on their backgrounds, perspective, etc. And I just did a little fly by the seat of my pants, like 15 minute lesson. And uh, I think it came out okay, so I'm gonna put it up on YouTube. And I always say I'm gonna make like a perspective course, and I never do because I don't have time. I'm not a YouTuber, uh, and I'm not really a lesson person slash teacher. I am primarily an artist, so I just you know, it's like way too late already, and I'm like making videos. Here we go. So, um, do you know like when you learned like perspective, like when you're in um, I don't know, like middle school? And I don't know if you ever learned this, but there was like, you find it is like a vanishing point, like basically right in the middle of the page. Yeah. Usually when they first teach it, it's like, it's on the page. Yep. Tim Silly blew our minds away in the concept class. And he's like, you don't have to put it in the frame. Like it could be off page. And we were like, what? Totally. <laughs> totally. So Tim probably covered a bunch of this, but just in case. Yeah. Here's your one, one point vanishing point. One point perspective this is your vanishing point in your horizon line, which is always on the vanishing point. Yeah. Uh, and let's say we're like on train tracks, right? Clap. Yeah. And you're like, here's your head and you're looking this way, right? So. Uh, sorry, I'm just thinking. Okay, so here's one point perspective, right? So I'm going to draw another version of what you just saw but from like the top down so here's like a straight above right and here's your your train tracks so it's just like what you're seeing right so like it's exactly this you're just we're just above kind of makes sense yeah bird's eye okay yes so if you were to like turn around you would see the exactly the same thing right you'd see the train tracks going forward you turn around you see the train tracks going back right yeah Okay, so we technically then have a vanishing point this way. That's one. We have a vanishing point this way, which is two. And of course, if we have a crisscross, right? And we were to look this way, same thing. Right. We were to look this way, same thing. Uh, so this is, uh, let's just say this is three and four. But if we uh, kind of like tilt our heads like up a little bit, right? Uh, we're going to get a vanishing point like way, way up there. Like, like probably like up here, right? And if we were just like to follow this, it's very loose. Do you see how we have that kind of like very slight like really slight kind of like tilt upward. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. So like that's because we're tilting our heads up. Right. And uh, we can fill in the rest here like this. And now we have a, it's technically like a two point perspective going from up. And the same thing if we were to uh, be looking down. It's the same thing, like looking down at a bunch of buildings or whatever. So, okay. So then we got, so we got a one, two, three, four, and then we have five down here and six above if we were to flip it. So there's your six. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. So this is where two point perspective comes in where we just did it with the up and down. But also if you're looking, this is more the traditional uh, two point perspective but if you look this way right you're looking down in between the two train tracks it's going to look like this is an approximation but there's one set of train tracks here's another yeah and if we do follow our two point perspective and obviously they're too close like when you do two point perspective, you always want to have one 
off the page by a considerable amount because it will just look more natural. Yeah, it'll, it'll look more squeezed. Yeah, but like um, you'll like see like um, like industrial designers and like architects. They like have a mathematical way to like find exactly the ninety degree separation point between the two perspective points. As comic book artists, we love to cheat, and it's no big deal. So we'll like, uh, uh, you know, I just like to do it like this. Like it's like just make if here's your canvas and here's your horizon line, make them farther apart than you think they need to be, and it's gonna look more natural see how like that even just that like you could build a whole cityscape out of that you know it's like so easy right you see how i just like made that on the fly yeah that's no, exactly. good. <laughs> like you don't have to be like oh my god where's the vanishing point is it over here is it like over here approximation right so right. let's say i need a two-point perspective grid and i don't know where the f these vanishing points are so uh i learned this from lee weeks you're Look at Lee Weeks stuff. No. Well, he's amazing. Okay. <laughs> I'll put him down. Well, so That's like I was like, I asked him, I was like, how the heck do you get like these vanishing points so easy when they're so far away? He's like, Well, it's simple. It's like if you were drawing a truck, right? You just kind of draw the approximation of a truck, like in your head, right? Like it's almost like you're just sketching out the composition. Boop, boop. And you know, you don't know what you're you, you know, vanishing points, what? You're just kind of guessing, right? But yeah. then what you would do is you would take your ruler or whatever you have, right? Or just a sketch, just a, like a pencil line. And you kind of find the two points that make up this geometrical object, right? And even you could even do this. Let's say I'm drawing a truck like this. Okay, it's just a guess. But like it needs to be pulling into like, I don't know, a grocery store or some BS. Well, I can build my whole perspective grid based on this one truck by just find that one line. Here's another line. Or you know what? I'll find one that's a little bit farther apart because it makes it easier. Do you see how I've already like started to make a grid this way? Yeah. Okay. So uh, you ever hear about like 10-point um, dividers and fancy stuff like that? No. Yeah, that's fine. Well, there's a tool that you can buy. You don't need to have it, but what it will do is it will take this space and it will find the space right in the middle exactly, right? Just I'm just going to put a little knock right there. And it will do the same thing here. It'll find a space there, and then you connect the two, and now you have a perfect in-between line for this whole thing. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. Okay. So what you can do to make your grid is you can measure, let's say this is uh, one inch from here to here, right? Well, you just measure this one inch, then you make another dot here, one inch, another dot here, one inch, one inch, I'm just guessing here, but then you measure this. So let's say this is 1.2 inches, right? Not a huge difference, but it will make a difference here, 1.2 inches, 1.2 inches and uh, what we're going to do oh shoot we're going to connect the dots uh, I'm guessing do you kind of see what I'm doing here yeah and this is not necessarily correct because like this is a very slight angle so it wouldn't look this way then you do the same thing on this side of the truck uh, like this and you measure this I'm drawing a little ruler all that over here and you measure this and what you can do is you can space out this so if you want like a tighter grid you split this into like three equal parts one two three and uh sorry connect it like this but what you would do is you'd split it into three equal parts and you just dot each way down and that's how you get your perspective grid. Do it again. Let's make a three point really fancy. You see how it's starting to come down? Oh, shoot. We can actually find a vanishing point. Boop, 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 boop. Now, I've got my like 
got my truck here and let's just say that you know i, I let's just make this a grocery store or whatever right do you see how i'm just like i'm like i don't even care about my lines i'm like whatever here's like the parking spot thing i'm gonna put like a little car here another parking spot thing uh maybe i'll have like another building over here with like an awning or whatever but i'm kind of like following this perspective grid right and all of a sudden things start like coming into place does this make any sense at all it's okay if it oh, no, this this makes sense a lot this actually helps a lot Okay, so it's like this is super technical and it's kind of like <laughs> nitty gritty, like, you know, put this potion in with this potion and poof. But um, the trick with the with the, the I really like this way because you could be drawing like anything and it would you can still apply this rule. So you basically like and it works mostly with like, um, I don't know, like if you're drawing like. It could be anything, right? Like you're just kind of like, I don't know. I need to draw a big boat. So you like draw your boat, right? And you do the same thing. You're like, okay, so here's my boat. I'm not good at drawing boats, but whatever, right? But you get, you get kind of like an approximation. You like just follow each kind of like, eh, kind of like this, right? Well, you've got a vanishing point down here. That means your horizon line is down here. Well, that's easy. Right. And, uh, you know, it's just be a one point perspective grid. And then so then like say, well, I want to put this boat in a dock. Oh, man, this is easy. You know, I'm just guesstimating here, but and I'm just building my scene around the focal point of the very thing that I just want to draw in the first place. I don't even want to deal with the background, but it this kind of makes everything fit. Kind of makes yeah. sense. Yeah. And then like, again, just uh, go over it again because you can't hear it too many times, but perspective can be like really intense and again i like this way i like telling people to do it this way because you're uh, it's composition and vibe first and then technicality and all the bs second so uh let's do like a three-point thing i want to be looking up at like a big skyscraper so i think i want it to be like this like i want it to be like really i don't know menacing I'm just like riffing here, whatever, right? Uh, and I know it's like, it's like kind of up this way. And so again, I go like this. I'm finding these two spots. So actually, my sometimes you can find this on a page, but let's just say we can't, right? Let's say like the your page ends like right there, and you're like, gosh darn it. Well, then you just draw on the table. <laughs> Do that. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, um, you measure this split it up into like you know with math three different parts measure this three different parts with math connect the dots and then so you do you know three but then you just keep measuring out the same distance this way and in this way and you just connect the dots i'm i'm guessing here because i don't feel like right drawing dots but then we have one of our perspectives and then so let's just say that this this is tiny but it's enough and uh, we'll just like, oh, maybe it's like right there. So, and again, I would do the same thing. Sorry, I'm, I'm rushing. I'd split this and you got to make sure you're, you, you can't like go like this because you have to be like super consistent. So I like to go like this. Okay. Like this and measure one, two, three, one, two, three. So four separate sections. One, two, three. Oh, shoot. One, two, three. Connect. Connect, 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 connect. So we're not done yet. We still have to do this other. Uh, so we got a line there and we don't really have another one, but we'll just take a best guess and make one right there. Measure one, two, so one, two, three. And again here. One, two, three. Connect, connect, connect. And now it's kind of like you get like your own little world, like your Lego world to like play in or whatever. So I've got all my things and now I can start building like a city around the building that I have focused my story on or your shot or 
of what have you. And I'm like, eh, I'm not using a ruler. I'm just adding a few little details here, you know, uh, but what this is allowing me to do is just play and draw and it's fun and people will be able to tell if you're having fun or not. I mean, backgrounds look like they're brutal to draw most of the time because people hate drawing them and it looks just not fun. But this is at least a little fun. I like this a lot. And also, you don't need a ruler and you can just kind of fake it. Not fake it, but. Is that kind of. Nice. Is this ring true? Yeah. <laughs>